is finally happening. The red-hot U.S. housing market is cooling off. An index tracking prices in 20 large cities has fallen for the first time in a decade, marking the end of a two-year pandemic boom as higher mortgage rates take effect. Buyers are being priced out of the market, which is slowing down transactions and forcing sellers to respond by lowering their asking prices. The West Coast is leading the way. San Francisco, Seattle, and San Diego each saw at least 2% declines in July from the previous month. Now, while the overall direction of prices down is significant, the actual levels are too, because home prices, they remain elevated. There's still a lot of pent-up demand. We saw sales of newly constructed homes jump unexpectedly in August, as well as a persistent housing shortage. And when people leave big, expensive cities, like those in California, for more affordable places, the relocations will keep a floor under prices in those new cities. But as long as the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates to bring down inflation, the trajectory of prices is likely to be 